Hello, Christ here, Boktai, the sun is in your hand. Uh, in the last part, we were told about these statues that we need to get to shoot each other. And in this part, we're going to make them shoot each other. Yeah, Otenko actually told me this stuff again after I loaded my game. Um, I'm assuming this is somewhere I haven't been. Yeah, of course it is. Because I came from the top left of the previous area. Hey, solar bank. Or maybe that's dark loans. Because it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, you can shoot this from up here. Uh, yeah, going this way. And then... Hello, Gollum. I have no idea if I'm actually going towards one of the statues. Maybe I've gone backwards at some point. Although there's a field of mirrors over there. That makes me feel pretty good about where I'm going. Let's uh, red stream it up. fairly certain I've gone in a circle. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, that was productive or something. Yep, we're here again. All right, so uh, these four statues, we're, we're, we're totally gonna solve the puzzle. Eventually. Oh, locked doors. So apparently we have to do these statues in a certain order because the game won't let us do it in any other order. Okay. Wait, could I go over here? Yes. Let's not get shot. Actually, let's demo getting shot. Uh, I thought that could hit you. Yes. It can. Oh, I'm bad at puzzles. <laughs> uh, so, uh, let me uh, reset the room. I guess here's the closest. <coughs> Fortunately, as we've demonstrated... Oh. Why are you not reset, puzzle? I was gonna say, fortunately, as we've demonstrated that the uh, ah, cockatrice bolt isn't particularly large, um, he can actually probably push the first one while you're not even bothering to time it. Oh, except you have to be in the middle to push it. There we go. All right, now we can go directions. Apparently, now that we've done the first one, we can go in any order. I guess they put the one that's the easiest puzzle to solve first. All right, messing with mirrors. Oh, and we have quite a field of them shooting. I wouldn't surprise me if only one of them can get us to the end. Uh, let's see. It'll be whatever can hit this mirror. Which appears to not be anything down and right, so this mirror goes in this position. Or no? Oh, wait. No. It has to come from here, and I destroy this mirror. So. Whoa! So I get shot randomly. Right, is this lined up? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. And the mirrors randomly all shatter, because why not? 
That's what I would do if I was a mirror and somebody solved the puzzle relatively close to me. Wait. <laughs> there wasn't a door over here. Hmm. Ah. Okay. Doors, they're good. Hey, it's an ackle... Ah, ackle? Actual cockatrice. But I believe we still need to use the statue's attack. But we might want to, like, eliminate the competition. And, uh, get stunned by the statue while we're at it. Oh. That did not deal much damage. I thought I even hit it from behind. Maybe it turned around at the last moment? Or maybe they resist Earth. I thought they were air enemies. But, uh, that deals a lot more damage. Unfortunately, I don't want to really attack them near the mirrors enough to shatter the mirrors, but I think that one was okay. Oh, wait, actually. If I was smart, I would, like, do that. <laughs> Deals a lot of damage. Unfortunately, I do think I cannot solve the puzzle with a mirror shattered. Wait. Oh, this goes towards the chest, so I do want to do it, even though it doesn't take me out of the room. Gold apple? Pretty great. Wait, where am I trying to get? That way, right. So I would have needed to send it down and around, except the mirror's not there. I do believe the enemies won't have respawned, though, so uh, it was okay. Whoa! And apparently the mirrors remember how they were rotated. Oh, make it? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna need to dodge right as soon as this ends. Okay. I think the statue stopped firing, too. Hmm. Alright, one more to go. I, I like these little side rooms where you do the puzzly stuff. Is that going to be health? Well, that's fine, too. Oh. Do these not actually do red detection exclamation marks? <coughs> Interesting. I'm going to heal up some, because I'm going to need it at some point in this dungeon. There we go. Where's everything? Alright, that time I got a stun on the first attack. Hmm. So, uh, somewhere around here, there's a statue that shoots. Hmm. Maybe the time I didn't stun, I just shot it as it was turning around. That makes sense. Or I really messed up the angle on my attack. So, I think this mirror here is not going to be useful in the slightest. <laughs> it's blocked by walls on two sides, basically. So you can immediately tell it's useless. Unless... No, it's not floating high enough in the air that this will matter. I don't think, anyway. Yeah, it goes right over. So I guess let's follow that bolt, because I feel like the first change I made was worthwhile. Because before it was just getting, like, sent off into nothing. Yep. <laughs> Brilliant decisions. Walk straight into bolts. Now, I might want this mirror destroyed. Where's my goal? No, okay, it's over there. However, I do think I do want the mirror destroyed. So what's over this way? Uh, nothing useful, because that's too low. Yeah, there's no way to ever get that to change levels. It will always be too high. Er, wait, that's not what I wanted to do with this mirror. Yeah, Walking into stuff. Mostly I'm just not paying attention to the timing. And so I'm getting hit. Oh! 
There are stairs right up to that green chest. This is the first I actually saw them. So, uh, let's get whatever's in there. Did... Oh, okay. For a second I thought this stuff disappeared, but, um, it just went back into the crystals or something. Alright, getting stuff. Life fruit. Yay. It wouldn't surprise me if I expand my life one more time before the end of the game. Alright, now we can use the express elevator. Going right to the top. Stay alert, may the sun be with you. Sure. <laughs> that repeating background. <laughs> okay, now it's not a repeating background. Oh, five bomb solar grenades, red apple. Red apple. Solar nut. I know what things are called. Snatches of conversation can be heard. Question marks, please. Queen will terrible dark. Carmilla. The only way moon boot... Ah. Words, entrust to me. I am immortal. You think I don't know? For now, I cannot again. But when, if my life remains, all of me. <laughs> Who's Zapata talking to? Maybe the boss? Ah! Eavesdropping? Bad manners for someone who calls himself a messenger of the sun. She's waiting. Go, Django. Okay. Will do. It's probably a trap. I'll go first. <laughs> what a good idea. And we ought to run into the door. You're finally here, the sorrowful girl. She looks a lot like Lita, but recolored. If you hadn't come, things wouldn't have turned out this way. Farewell, son. Django. I think this may be it for me. For my last bit of energy, I'll put the pile driver wh where you fought Sabata. Defeat her. Save Mani Moon Beauty. May the sun be with you! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Ringo. Alright, so, uh, are we gonna fight the boss? Okay, scene's fading out. You lost your friend, and still you would fight. Of course. Fine, now it's your turn. Oh, voiceover. And, uh, yeah, it turns out she's actually Medusa. You might have guessed that from the stone. <laughs> no, she's actually C Carmilla, Banshee the Deathbringer. Mean child, or that. Yeah, the hunter who shares Sabata's blood. So, we do share Sabata's blood. Surprise! Foolish, ignorant boy. I mean, you could have pretty much already guessed he was an evil twin. He'll pay for your misdeeds. Okay. Let's see. I believe she's weak to Earth, because she's air elemental. Because you expect air elementals to turn things to s stone. And, uh... Let's see... Eventually, you send one of her attacks back at her with the mirror. Except you need it to hit her face. I think she keeps going... Oh, wow, I'm bad. I think she keeps going in the same pattern. Oh. Uh, wow. Do not fail for too long, or else bad stuff happens. And yeah, yeah, you can shoot the tail. It, like, hurts her a little. Maybe. <laughs> that was a pretty poor demonstration of the tail hurting her. Um, I think I'll want this shattered. Alright, got her. So that's the actual damage. Uh, maybe she's actually immune to Earth. I thought she was weak to it. Alright, I'll, I'll put the soul lens back on. Okay, actually, maybe her tail just doesn't take that much damage. Oh, 
Hi. See, we can't shoot her there. Yeah, let's just reflect bolts at her. Let's see, so, wait. Uh, I did that exactly correct. I thought I needed to send it the other way. Seems like she always moves by one space, though. I'm not even going to bother shooting my gun this fight anymore. Unless uh, normal enemies come out, which they will. Like, she can summon dudes. By the way, there should... Oh, there's no skylight, actually. I was going to say, by the way, there should be a skylight somewhere, so I turned on some sun. And uh, that was the wrong thing to do. Oh yeah, the re other reason to fire your gun is that you might want to destroy blocks. Okay, so it seems your pattern is just to move back and forth. Yep, cockatrice, and she stood in place for her bolt, and then didn't actually summon cockatrice. <laughs> That's... Oh! Right! She doesn't do the whirl around thing on the second attack. I should have been able to notice that by now. Uh, so that one isn't useful, because there's nothing behind it, even. Alright. Hitting the tail works too, I remembered at the very end. <laughs> I knew it was a hit location that was useful somehow. Just, you need to send the gaze into it. So, you know, neat little puzzles, puzzle boss. Active puzzle. I like it. Purifier in the square outside. Because Otenko can somehow talk to us right now. Well, he's dead. So, dragging out the coffin, like we do every dungeon. And of course, you, you need to wait for it to shake sometimes, too. I believe it will never shake on a moving platform. Oh, and we auto-take it off the elevator. Nice. Let's see, I think... That way was the way out? Something like that? It's the disadvantage of waiting three days between recording. Okay, guy in here is not dead at the moment. Soul Lens is already max level, so I might as well swap to Earth. Because he's purple, which means he's air elemental. Oh, it's all health. I don't need health. I was hoping for sun. Maybe this... Ah, sun's over here. Alright. Full on stuff. And we're headed out. Down seems like a good direction for out to be. Oh, except there's no way I'm getting the coffin through that. So, uh, it's not that way. <laughs> Alright. So I did need to take that staircase that led to the loop. Alright, he's at least still dead now. And interesting that the, uh, solar flies respawn, like, even faster than enemies respawn. Alright, so we're going... Where are we going? I thought... I thought there were stairs down somewhere over here. Oh, yeah, right over there. does that take us? Probably somewhere useful. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, guys. Uh, let's uh, kill dudes. Oh yeah, you don't actually have to solar charge to collect the solar flies. You can just run into them. If you feel like it. Alright. Are you... Okay, you're a bank. Not that I actually have reason to care. Wait. What's going on? How do I get anywhere? Probably by following the actual path and not going to some staircase to nowhere. Perhaps there's... Maybe there's a switch that makes a bridge there? Maybe I need the coffin to solve a puzzle. So I'm gonna bring it with me. Actually, just going down and left seems good. I don't think I need to do anything special. Ah! <laughs> Get behind him while he's charging up his roll attack. Best plan. Amazing. Uh, it's this way. Oh, Tenko's not gonna be able to tell me anything, is he? Wow, it doesn't even let me inspect the tile. Uh, what is in this room, though? An elevator. I think I want that. Oh, that Otenko tile would probably tell me something about how I could grow plants. Eh, grab the thing. <laughs> yeah, I think this is where I came from, but I went up and right, so I didn't actually read the thing. Must be like halfway out of the dungeon by now. Wait. Really? Those are real chests. I just. Oh! Quad battery! That's useful. I don't remember this room at all, and. Oh! Let's, uh, see where the coffin went. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't land somewhere that Gollum was looking. Hmm. You know, since falling down stuff tends to send you backwards, that was probably good to do. Because I want to go backwards, because I'm trying to leave the dungeon. Ah, Mimic. <laughs> Easiest enemy ever. Five bombs, sure. There's a speed nut. Wait, where am I going? Do I really need to get by all those... Falling tiles? Hmm. Okay, well, there's a solar thing. I guess I'll take the coffin there. Sounds like the coffin's starting to crawl on its own, but... I don't know what direction it would head that would actually be bad for me. Uh, where did I- Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was gonna say, where did I put it? It was actually helping me. It was like, yeah, I'm just gonna go the correct direction. Because, I mean, it had nowhere else to go. What? I thought I killed everything. I guess that's something to do while the coffin decides that it wants to shake wildly. Alright, so let's look around a little, I guess. There's a solar bank. Here's... Oh, this... Man, so we're like two-thirds of the way out of the dungeon, maybe? I think, since I got the thing on that, 
that's maybe a good place to stop. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, next time we'll actually finish the dungeon. Purify the Immortal, that'll be good. So, uh, yeah, see ya!